So here I am at Pauling Play, or maybe I should say practice and play. If you are actively thinking about your technique, how it controls your boat and how you can refine it, then you're practicing. If you're just traveling, then maybe not. Or you could be reinforcing some bad habits. I'm not saying this isn't okay. If you'll always be enjoying the same level of water challenge, then it's probably fine. Today I'm trying to stretch my skills, so here I am in the Alora Gorge again, 20 minutes from my home. It is a challenging place to pull. The river bottom is bedrock, which means it isn't very grippy. The point of your pole just skids along, so I have to adapt my pole planting, but still get the boat to do what I want. The river is the river, and it doesn't care about a grippy bottom. Poling is a skill that fills a gap in the recreational canoe instruction world. If it is too shallow for paddling, then you're walking. If the route is too busy, too many rocks, or no reasonable line, you're walking. If you have to go the other way against much current at all, walk it. Whether with a rope pulling the boat along, wet feet, dry feet, or unloaded on the trail, it's still walking. So I love that I have one more choice before I give up and step out. One more option that will keep me in my boat. The great value of a pole in descending rivers is speed control. And I really beat this to death when I'm practicing. I will try to creep down the shallowest parts along the shore. Not because I have to here, but because I will need to someday. And for the other times, when I have to go for it, I go. You will also find a degree of control in reverse that isn't possible with a paddle. Now to swing across the current again to continue my creep down the far shallow shore under complete control. I do this because large and dangerous rapids may have a shallow shoreline which cannot be paddled, but can be pulled. You create your own challenges, even in only a foot of water. And look at the stopping power you have against a powerful sidewash. And now to dart out into the full force to move through a narrow spot. and then deke out of it again in the name of safety and control. You can see my paddling buddies there waiting patiently in the eddy at the end of the run. They're always so indulgent of my puttering ways that this time I decided to just quit goofing around and get on with it. Oddly, this is when my GoPro camera decided to pack it in. And with only two boat lengths to go, my attention must have done the same. But of course, there are always other cameras. We're all between swims. So you should still learn to pull, 